Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to the channel. Picking up where we left off here in our Bielsa Journeyman save at Volenlusk in the Ukraine. After beating Malmo last episode, we took down Vorskla 4-2, Anton Radinov, Yuri Simic, and Oleg Kuchinsky. All had goals. Kuchinsky with a brace. And we were up 4-0, and then we gave up two goals in the final seven minutes of the match. Uh, then we turned around and set a scoring record, 5-3, breaking the record set the previous match. And a 5-3 win over Dynamo Kiev. Vitaly Zubkov, our striker with the early goal. Timothy Kravostiuk with a goal. And then Yuri Simic with a hat trick. And that took place over an eight-minute span. <laughs> it was incredible. Uh, just completely dismantled them. And uh, luckily, we got that because uh, they got a brace from uh, Basoli, uh, who just took us apart on Route 1 passes over the top, splitting our two center backs. And then they got a late goal from Jimenez. But uh, we held on for the win there. 3-1 uh, loss to Morapol. Yuri Simic got the only goal there, and we just did not look good. Uh, then we just uh, drew with Varzine, played a little bit of a rotation, not, not a ton. And, uh, yeah, but it is what it is. They even had a player sent off. And we just couldn't get anything done. So we're back to take on Dnipro 1 today in our final match of the early season. Uh, I did get a notification that our youngsters went on their mid-season break. So it must just be a mid-season break for them to, I don't know, just hang out. Uh, but we'll see about scheduling some friendlies in February, uh, getting them back into shape for March. Taking a look at the competition, we're currently second in the table, five points behind Obalon, Kiev, and uh, 10 wins, four draws out of 17, and a plus 18 goal differential. Uh, we have qualified for the knockout rounds of Euro Cup 2, so that's positive, and we'll be into the quarterfinal of the Ukrainian Cup. That takes place in March, so we have met expectations for that. And then, of course, we won silverware, so we're doing good. Let's take a look at me. Uh, so we did start off with a little bit higher level badge just to kind of get where we needed to be. And so basically I found, figured out what team I wanted and then started with that. So it's a Continental B license. And there you can see my ratings. I went real heavy into fitness. We covered this in the first episode, but just wanted you to see what was going on. And uh, personal badges, none. And we have one uh, gold cup for the team with Volin Lusk, Ukrainian Super Cup. And there we go. So that's what we're dealing with today. Let's get into the match. Uh, we are going to be going with uh, Kravchenko in goal because... Uh, Heidenreich got hurt. He, uh, he he got a virus. I don't know if they put COVID into the game, but he's quarantining at home for two weeks. So that's all I know. That's, that's what I'm calling here. So he has gone home for two weeks. I went ahead and sent him home because it was... Uh, it was going to be 10 days anyway with the virus that he had, which was unusual because usually those are like two to three days. So that freaked me out a little bit. Izev is hurt as well. Uh, so he is gone. Uh, he got hurt, uh, pulled back muscle during the draw against Varzim. And we've got, I think we've got some transfer news. Do we? No, not yet. Oh, we've made a contract offer for this guy. Uh, we have, because we aren't going to be back till March, let's go ahead and look at this guy. We do have a right back center back coming in. We paid $3.3 million for him. 21 years old from Club Bruges, and it is Maxim Markarenko. He is 21 years old, nine under 21 caps for the Ukraine, and he's got an 81 rating, five-star potential, and he looks like he's going to be really good. Five foot eleven, but he can head and he can jump, which is really odd. So somebody under six feet that could play center back can also play right back. Decent crossing. So we're looking at him. he's definitely joining. 
And then uh, this guy looks really solid. Again, back four, three back line positions, center, uh, defensive mid. He's only 5'6". He will not play center back. I picture him, uh, I think this looks like Johnny Alioski uh, with Leeds United. Uh, great work rate, concentration, decision, composure, stamina, natural fitness. I mean, this guy can looks like he can run all day. So I can see him playing all over the pitch. And if we can get him to work on his crossing, I might even try to retrain him up into the attacking positions as well. We'll see what that does. Now, I don't believe he's going to be able to be registered until next season because he's already played with two clubs this year. In, well, it says two. I thought that's what it said about him. Maybe I read that wrong. Anyway, so for today's match, Vera and Zubkov up top, Tarashenko and Kravostiuk on the wings, Mikhailov, uh, Mikhailov and Makarov in the mid, Stoika, Radnov, Bid, Bidney, and Tarasenko on the back line, Kravchenko in the goal. We are going to have to give a squad number, and Gratchoff takes number 34. The names are starting to come a little easier. Now, I, I'm probably still mispronouncing them, right? But, and we've got snow on the pitch. Great. And rain. Snow and rain. Nice. Or maybe that's not snow. Maybe it's just slosh. <laughs> All right. We are in the gray. So keeping an eye. We're going to blend into the snow here. There's a shot from range, and you know what? He picked the ball up and freaking ran out of bounds. That's embarrassing. When's the last time you saw that happen? He dives for the ball, but it's headed out. That's embarrassing again. Kicked out of play. Uh-huh. I'm wondering. Oh, there's a nice ball up. And it's slotted home. Carlos Vera, his 11th of the season. I was wondering if we should turn, uh, you know, dribble less. I think he'd still have to dribble in that scenario. But I think maybe if they are in traffic, it would lead to some more one-touch passing, which may be a good thing. Let's encourage them. Okay, a couple of them did not like that. Hmm. Still wish we could mess with this. Hmm. Ukov into the middle. Oh my gosh, that was some brilliant quick passing. Seventh goal of the season for Tarachenko, and it is 2 0. And that could be the deciding goal here. I do want to come over here. Do I need to? I don't really need to see. I like these. That's the one I wanted. This one actually shows woodwork everything else. So I, I like that one better. I think I want that one more than the scores. Good deal. All right, Benny picks up a yellow card. You're going to praise the team. They've gone more attacking. Both teams with three shots, three on target. Ooh, that was a quick ball out. There's some one-touch passing by us. Oh, two shots, and they both get deflected. The final one for Tarachenko, a save by the keeper. Here's a counter opportunity. 
We do have two defenders back, two more coming back. Makarov gets on his man. All ball, not even a concern there. That's good. We lost that in the midfield. Might want to look at that. All right, Kravchenko gets it out to Makarov. Good ball up, Tereschenko. He pings it from range. Uh, they're, we're, we're both two in the midfield. They do have that number 10, which can help them a little bit. What? I think that's a move I'm going to make at the half. I think I'm just going to close my lines up a little bit. The flares are up in the stands again. That's... That's still kind of interesting because you don't see that a lot. There's a great save by Kravchenko. Just laid out to his left. Turned himself into a snowman. And a save right in his face. Point nine two to point three seven. Combined nine shots on target. Uh, we are going to go, uh, actually, hands on hips. All right, I do want to drop in here. Let's condense these lines just a little bit, just a little. All right, we're going to kick off. We've got some yellow cards to be concerned about. We'll probably have to make a move at some point. Oh, there was a nice save by Verlest. And I'm nervous on this. Right into the wall. The wall did its job. We don't see that too often. Uh, let's encourage. Right. Good control by the defense here. Maybe. All right, there's some good movement. Those guys need to spread out just a touch. Oh, there's a brilliant ball through. And Zublikov, his 11th of the season. And the flares go off in the stands again. That's a big pyro. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that somebody would have their hair set on fire if that happened in real life. And I've seen flares, but that looks pretty massive. I mean, that looks like it's got a good 12-foot 12 12 foot flame shooting out of it, right? All right, I'm going to make a sub here. Uh, let's pull off Binyi. We'll bring on uh, Basharov for him. And Markarov for Mazarenko. Do that. Get the two... Uh, Two yellow cards off the pitch. Oh, there's an interesting pass. Stoika. Okay, he got all ball on that. Knocked it out of play. Kravostiuk onto that header clearance. He's got lots of room. Nobody closes down on him. We should have had somebody at that back post, but nobody can make that run. <clears throat> All right, Tarasenko has picked up a yellow card. Oh, no, he has not picked up a yellow card. He's looking at accumulation. Well, you know, you can't take people off because they might accumulate. That's just going to happen. All right, nice. There's a good ball out. Vera's on it. He holds it up, beats his man. Plays it at the far post. Oh, he tried to place that, and that was a deft little shot. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to ignore that. Thank you. All right, let's, uh, let's tell them to focus. They didn't mind that. There's a header that goes high. 
You know, I've noticed, uh, and I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments, but I'm getting better with the little hearts, but it's um, there's no rhyme or reason to why I think I am, because I have no clue. I am offsides, possibly? No, okay, well, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm going kind of just off the coloration, you know, the lower it gets. thought there might have been a foul there. They pick up another one, and there we go. Tab There's our first uh, guy getting into the red. So we will pull him, and that is going to be Tarasenko. And let's bring on uh, Iryakov. I think that's how you pronounce it. Close enough. Of course, if any of you out there are named Iryakov, you're probably like, hey, hey. Look, I've had my last name pronounced a myriad of different ways over my lifetime. So, boy, he just pinged that near post. <coughs> Let's drop down to balanced and uh, focus, if we don't mind. On um, could have stopped. Kravastiak is uh, dying here, but he's going to have to see it out. Oh, wait a minute. Will he have to see it out? And can we make another sub? How about Stoika? Where is Stoika? There he is. For Fedor. Oh, uh, look out. We get the extra subs in the league. I actually remembered it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> Did you see that clearance? Vera, oh, Vera's taken down. That's brutal. He's got to get a yellow card there, right? No? Come on. Wow. All right, can't give the shout just yet. We're going to praise the entire team. And that's the match. Three to one win over Dnipro one. Gonna go outstretched arms. A good win. Let's take a quick gander. So we are second in the table, two points off. That's not bad. That's a good place to go into the break, I believe. Aren't we only supposed to be mid table? Mid season break. So they will come back. January 28th for training. So I guess that's why the friendlies take place in February. So I'll go schedule some friendlies. But let's go in and take a look at dynamics. We're good cohesion, very good atmosphere, very good leadership support. Uh, happiness, nobody's unhappy. So that's good. That's positive. Hierarchy. Uh, we have, uh, let's well, social groups. So we have our core group. We have a secondary group. We've got a small group here with Stoika and Marar. I think they're relatively new. And then Vera and Carabella have not fit in just yet. And they're both relatively new as well. Taking a look at the hierarchy, all seven of our top players are fully in support. Uh, I have only four players that have no real opinion. Everybody else is very supportive, so that's good. First season, we're already fully entrenched with these guys. Uh, so, medical center, two weeks for the virus. He'll be back, and Izev with a pulled back muscle, he will be returned completely when uh, we come back from the break. I think that's it, guys. There's our finances, if you were wondering. So we are losing a little bit of money per month. I probably need to be down around $1.2 million, if I was being honest. We're actually going to go up to $1.6 after the first of the year. But we've got plenty of money in the bank to take a little bit of a loss. And the only other thing I'm wondering, is there... No prize money? No prize money, I don't guess. All right, well, 
I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be prize money, but usually it shows it in here, but maybe because it's showing all the league tie-ins, we aren't going to see that. All right. All right, guys, we'll hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you very much. And we will see you guys next episode after the midseason break. Have a good one. Bye.